Raccoon on a budget, here we go. I don't think I have to explain where Cancun is. After Mexico City, it's probably the country's most famous city among tourists. But what is Cancun? Well, that depends entirely on who you are. Downtown. That's Cancun if you actually live and work here, and it gets pretty much zero foreign visitors. And this narrow stretched out island is where about 100% of the tourists stay. It's absolutely crammed with massive hotels and totally sealed off from anything remotely Mexican. So, here we are in Cancun, the most touristified place in the whole of Mexico. But this time of year, Cancun offers something that might be a game changer for your vacation, which might make it one of the better stops along the Yucatan Peninsula. Yeah, and people also come here to get a little crazy. A lot of girls on that boat. We'll cover that too. As this is a budget guide, I'm assuming you arrived here by bus. Now get on another one, the one taking you to the hotel zone. It will cost you less than a dollar. Walking on this tourist island is, let's just say it wasn't built for walking. Taking that healthy stroll to soak up the surroundings could end in getting crushed under a vehicle. It's not super easy finding a place to cross the street around here. But what was that talk of Cancun being a good place this time of year? Well, cause the rest of Yucatan looks like this during the summer months, drowning in brown slimy algae. The situation has gone so bad, my previous video actually hit one of America's biggest news shows. Now to the seaweed invasion. Good morning again. This is the worst piece of garbage water I've ever seen. Totally impossible to swim. Not kidding here, the Swedish gringo became breaking news in the US. Unreal. And that's why my hopes are high for this beach. I'm so anxious seeing how the beach will be. I'm so he's anxious, I'm anxious. I just hope the beach will look better here than in Tulum and Playa del Carmen. Compared to how the rest of Yucatan looks, this is nothing short of a miracle. Hey, this is by no means perfect, but God damn it, it's much better than Tulum and Playa del Carmen. And this is just a first public beach. Why the brown plague has spared some of Cancun's beaches remains a mystery. It simply doesn't look this good anywhere else along the east coast. How do you feel about this, Philip? Much better. It's such a relief, isn't it? Yes. We've been fighting hard to get some turquoise water. <laughs> After weeks of muddy, smelly beaches, Playa Tortuga felt like a gift from the gods. This? It's making me hopeful! I needed this paradise turquoise water. I needed it more than I knew. Ah, finally! There is no acting here. Those are all real, genuine emotions. Was it worth the wait? Yes. This beach is popular among locals and good for striking up conversation. Like, what's best with Cancun? The ocean. The ocean is really blue, a lot of shades of blue, it's really cool. <laughs> and what do you want to do when you're here in Cancun? Um, get sand on my body. <laughs> I would like to party. <laughs> I would like to party a lot and meet, a, meet new people. Viva Mexico! Viva Mexico! That was just a first sample. There are way better beaches out there. Get on the bus again and jump off at the town's party central, Punta Cancun. Playa Chacmol stretches for two kilometers and is considered the main beach of Cancun. And it looks not perfect. And also heavenly. I know which side I choose. 
Hey, you can say it's a gamble getting a hotel in Cancun right now. You can be stuck with this or you could have this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's vacay time. And it turns out we're not the only ones escaping to Cancun because of the seaweed. Elma. Now this is something. This is a paradise beach. During low season, there is ample free space along the shores. I never remember Cancun being this pretty. Maybe because all the ugly tourists are missing. By the way, you're allowed to put down your towel anywhere you want. In Mexico, all beaches are public by law, so there's no need to book a fancy hotel just to get access to a slice of sand. And best thing, it's not even crowded. I can't imagine it being this little people during high season. Well, if it's people you want, you can get them too. For some reason, they all seem to crowd up at the same place near the main entrance. Now, how about that drink? Head for the nearest beach club. This became our favorite since it was both price-worthy and actually had some people in it. Beach clubs is an option if you can't afford a hotel by the sea. And included in the price, kick-ass loungers by the water. How about that? $30 and you get to eat or drink for 25 of those. Guess I'll mostly do the drink. Ah, gracias. They just keep getting better. That's right, if you have your 3-4 drinks, entrance is basically $5. ¿Por qué te gusta Cancún? Cancún es muy hermoso, conoces muchas personas, están las playas muy hermosas, ¿no? Come to Cancún so you can party your ass off. <laughs> yeah, party. Let's have a look at that. Once again, back to Punta Cancún. First night in Cancún. The moment you step off the bus, it becomes obvious Cancun was built on one thing apart from sun and beach, alcohol. The bars are all over the place, all competing in being the wildest and goofiest. And they are all loud. How do you feel about this? It really is insanely loud. Normal just doesn't exist in Cancun after dark. Let's start off with a drink under $15. This seems to be a respectable place. Now, a word about today's sponsor, language learning app LingoPie. This party, it's kind of boring. And whenever I'm bored, I like to practice my language skills using the LingoPie app. But a party might be a bit noisy. Okay, so maybe this is a better spot to practice. And yeah, I'm getting paid to say this, but I wouldn't be saying it if I wasn't actually learning from using this app. So basically you have tons of movies and series available in a bunch of languages. Everything said is logged to a transcript and can be repeated at any time by clicking it. You can use double subtitles and click any word. Or try saying them yourself. If things are too fast, you can slow down the speed. And then do a pop quiz to make sure you've picked up all the words and learned your lesson. All words you've clicked are also stored as flashcards to be practiced again. Or just screen share to your TV and enjoy the show. Alright, where were we? Oh yeah, party. Bars in Cancun are not afraid to charge you, but this place actually served two decent cocktails for 10 bucks. Six on the beach. <laughs> The general vibe is a little hectic. 
There is always 10 things happening at the same time and people will constantly try selling you stuff. You can't move five meters here without someone asking you to come to a strip club. Family friendly. The constant commotion ironically makes it a little hard to just enjoy. This is just absolute madness. It's just utter insanity. It's like having that friend screaming all the time at the party. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's loud. Even the toilets are loud here. This is probably an off-season thing, but none of the bars really reach critical mass. If you want a proper party, you'll need to pay up for the major clubs, which will break today's budget. So, first night impressions. 100% safe, very hard to actually party, and a lot of guys asking me to go to a strip club. <laughs> And of course, the buzz home is a rolling disco. As you might have guessed, hotels in Cancun tend to be not cheap. This mid-range option costs about $150 a night. Huh, not too shabby. Mid-range hotels also generally have less strict rules, like allowing you to bring your own drinks. Don't you do it! Don't you do it! Ah! Oh, not, not more, please, not more. Oh, not more. People pay top dollar for this. I'm sweating and freezing at the same time. There are a few budget options in the hotel zone as well. This is about as low as you can go if you still want a decent pool. 100 bucks a night. Now let's go check out town, ending up at the same place as last night. But it kinda looks different in broad daylight. It's a little like waking up next to that girl the morning after and realize how she actually looks. <laughs> Philip warned me that would be a sexist thing to say, but she would probably think the same of me. Anyways, just exploring the lavish surroundings and flashy shopping malls makes for a decent excursion. But don't expect to afford actually buying something. All these hotels are gigantic! When finished sightseeing, just make a turn towards the beach. Wow, this is looking phenomenal! We kind of happened to stumble across the nicest beach in the whole town. Locals favorite, Playa Marlin. Superb beach, 100% free and you're allowed to just put your towel in the sand. Made that random city tour all worth it. A rewarding little walk. Playa Marlin. What do you girls like about Cancun? Wow, Cancun! Cancun, it's amazing. We you like, like the, the beaches, yes. the sea, the, the people, and the food. Uh, oh, we're gonna party in Cancun. Yes, Cancun. of course, we're gonna party. Unfortunately, not all beaches along this endless shore are in the same perfect shape. Some parts are just derelict hotels and seaweed. But the next minute, it's all suddenly looking good again. And before walking off to the quiet part of the beach, remember this. There's no shops, there's no restaurants for you to buy refreshments. So if you're settling down here, make sure to bring your own beverage. There are a few beach bars along the way, but most only accept hotel guests. All right, so now we walk the whole stretch, all the way from over there. Home sweet home. Praia Chakmol. The original and best. Why did you like Cancun? Because Cancun is a paradise. The view, the people. Basically, I like to socialize. I'm a very social person. I like Cancun because I have a lot of things. Hey, Cancun is the best. 
yeah, I gotta say it, among the beaches in Cancun, Playa Chacmol is the winner. It's simply a bit more fun. Another perk, this 7-Eleven. Welcome to Cancun Bartending School for Poor People. This is how you mix a good cocktail without paying too much. So what do you think? <laughs> I, um... It might be better to just pay for that day pass and get some proper cocktails instead. Some things are just too good to live without. Cheers! This place, Cancun, what a surprise! Yep, that alcohol is kicking in. We might just be getting ready for a day party, which happens to be one of the best parties in Cancun. Hundreds of people in a pool. What could possibly go wrong? Don't miss my video from this place. Not the party type? This is one of the new seven wonders of the world and only two and a half hours drive away. Or go visit a cenote, the nearest as close as half an hour from Cancun. I know, we haven't talked about food yet. Well, it seems like most of the tourists are satisfying their dinner needs at the hotel. This leaves you with surprisingly limited options if you want to go dine in town. Quite frankly, this place doesn't really offer that many places to go or that many things to do. Compared to Playa del Carmen or Tulum, dinner in Cancun might disappoint. And apart from the uneven quality, it will not be cheap. This came to be an unexpected favorite. The traditional Mexican experience, Mex3. And hey, this place is famous and insane. Is it for you? Stand up. No. Or just go full budget and get some pizza. Best food in Cancun. There will be no party tonight. Wally, wally, wally. At the end of the day, Cancun is Cancun. There is nothing real here. There is no real culture. This isn't really Mexico. But if you can't stand all those things, this is one of the places in Yucatan with the highest percentage of scoring a really good beach during this time of the year. If you find a better beach anywhere else, go there instead. Okay, we're not quite done. The bar is not completely dry yet. These will be the final hours in Cancun. And you know what? It feels all right. How can I say such a thing? Well, because I know which the next destination will be. You should all be familiar with it by now. And that, my friends, is all from Mexico and Cancun. See you soon in Brazil. Yes, I'm coming back, and this time I will stay, at least as long as I'm allowed. Thanks for watching, and be safe!